I'm delighted to be giving the Teddy Chester lecture here tonight in Manchester. And the theme of my talk is fake news, which is a, a term that has a lot of currency um, now in 2018. Uh, I will make three main points. I'll look at some of the literature on what we call fake news, defining it, and uh, the versions like uh, other aspects of it, disinformation, misinformation, trying to disentangle all of that. Then I'm going to be looking at what that means for health and obviously areas like vaccination, uh, infectious diseases, fluoridation, that sort of thing. Uh, particularly looking at the reasons why these stories spread so quickly. Who is spreading them? What is their motivation? What's going on? And finally, I will look at how we as health professionals can communicate in a clearer way. And in particular, to avoid the risk of backfire, where we say something and it has exactly the opposite effect from that we intend. There is quite an overlap between politics and public health. There always has been, right back to the days of Rudolf Virchow in the 19th century. Uh, we know that uh, politics and public health go together. Uh, but what I think we're seeing now is the way in which the uh, attack on some public health messaging is being used to erode trust in government as uh, a political weapon. So... What can we do to tackle the problem of fake news? Well, there is a wealth of evidence out there on communication of messages in ways that um, achieve what uh, they set out to do. Unfortunately, sometimes we get the wrong, uh, take the wrong approach. We say things that, in fact, have exactly the opposite effect from those that we want. We need to learn from the advances in psychology, cognitive psychology in particular. We need to understand the biases that people have and how to overcome them. One famous paper which uh, was uh, trying to change people's, uh, an experiment, people, they were trying to change people's views about something, said, quote, you need to hit them between the eyes. Uh, there are ways of doing this in terms of framing the message, in terms of understanding where they're coming from, and we can make use of those techniques to try and promote our messages. It's not just a matter of telling people. That often has the opposite effect from what we want. Mm -hmm.